So I'm Erin Robinson. I work for the Earth Science Information Partners, or ESIP, and this is a view of our community. There are three um, main member organization types, application developers, researchers, and big data centers. And they come together in these um, kinds of areas like data discovery, earth science collaboration, data stewardship, information quality, because um, they have common issues related to earth science, information, and technology. And I think that this is, um, it's interesting to see all of the purple dots that are the people, and we have about a thousand people that are working together on these common issues, and you can start to see how those topics are interrelated. And what's really interesting about this community is that they're um, <coughs> technology practitioners. So they're actually people on the ground that are doing the work. So why do we care about earth science information and data? And I really, I'm happy to follow Karen, but, um, because I, she sets the data stage really well. This is from Sandy, and earth science happens to us all the time. We have disasters that are happening, and Sandy was a great example that needed a lot of earth science information. And so this bottom image here shows flood zones that have been mapped in hospitals so that emergency responders can find where, you know, where hospitals are that haven't been impacted. And ESIP um, really comes together at this humanware and the connecting people, these pork chop looking things, at the humanware, so they share information, they share best practices of how to do data repositories or things like that, and um, you know they make these connections and they go to the software level. And we do all of this because open data, freely accessible earth science data, is really important to us for things like disaster response, um, you know, understanding all kinds of grand challenges that are facing us um, as a community. Um, so this is. I'm going to show a lot of screenshots, and so I wanted to start with something a little more humorous here. Um, we had a wiki. The wiki had a lot of great content, like educational modules, but there were a lot of questions about it. You know, is it mine because I'm part of this community? Can I use it? What's it related to? And the big question, is it finished? Or as a community manager, I loved, where did I put it? Um, so this led us to the natural, actually, backing up, this is a lot of hurdles that the user is facing, both newcomers to our community and um, people that have been around for a long time. If I can't find it, I can't access it. How do I know the quality? Um, can I merge it with something else? And this led us really to the clear um, solution of having a commons. And because we're funded by NASA and NOAA, we needed our work to be freely available for use, for sharing, repurposing, and remixing. And so this definition from Creative Commons really um, fits what we do. So this is a screenshot from the Creative Commons, or from our, our ESIP Commons, sorry. And there were three objectives here. First, it was a knowledge repository for our content, like data management modules or testbed projects. Second, it provides this um, license for the user. Here, this is um, a poster that's been submitted, and you can see we have the Creative Commons license. We have a citation that shows how it should be cited. And then if you clicked on the name, it would show you um, you know, the different um, things that this author's contributed. And the other thing is that all of this content is meant to be shared socially. So there are the, you know, tweet this or Google Plus this um, to share it socially. So this is an example of the author page, and you can see that it's starting to build a reputation in our community for where this person's presented a poster, for the sessions and meeting sessions that they've led, um, where they've presented talks, and all of these links link back to the con content. So one of our big successes with the ESIP Commons was the data citation guidelines our community came up with. They shared them through the ESIP Commons, and both NOAA and NSF picked these up and reused them for themselves. Um, we thought this was a big win, and really the, an example of the right kind of networking, that people were able to find the information they needed, they were able to remix it so that it fit for their agency, and um, you know, take it and go with it. So we were pretty thrilled about that being a big success for us. And finally, I'd like to end again with this network map. Um, I've been reading a book by Nilfer Merchant, and she writes in the 11 rules for a social era that ultimately the social era is individuals being connected and creating value. Um, through ensembles, and I think that's what we've done here. So the software, the platform itself is available on the web and GitHub if you're interested in reusing it, and I'm on the web, um, and so I just appreciate the opportunity to talk, and I think this is a great lineup. Thank you.